Hi you guys, so today I'm going to review this uh, Maybelline Fit Me finish, loose finishing powder and it's in deep. I went to Ulta and I got it for $7.99 and medium deep just looked way too light. Um, and then they have a color darker than this and it's called dark and that one looked gorgeous but it looked more like it would, it didn't look like something that would really brighten up my under eye. So I opted to get this deep and um, I just use it for my under eye and set all over my face. I will be doing a flash test and then coming back later on after a couple of hours and um, telling you guys how it controlled my oil throughout the day because I have oily skin. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch me put my makeup on and all that other stuff. Enjoy the video. I haven't used it before and this is my, gonna be a first impression review. So it comes with this package, of course. I'm sure you guys know the packaging. It's a square. And then it just has a plastic on here. So I'm gonna show you guys one of my tricks with the powder. You know how it has the plastic on the holes or the little cover on the holes? For me to not have so much like extra powder come out, sometimes I'll just poke a few of the holes or I will just lift this, lift the plastic up, but I won't take it off of all the holes. So I'm just going to lift it. See, I only moved it, moved the plastic off of a couple of holes. So I'll have less of a mess and less powder wasted when I'm using it. I have super oily skin. So I put a little powder on my face before I do my foundation. So I'm just gonna do that today. I'm gonna put a little bit in the top. Some of these sponges are too hard, but I got these from Target and it's the Up and Up generic brand. So I'm just gonna press, tap the extra off. I'm just pat into my face. On the packaging, it says that this powder can be used alone or, you know, with other makeup with your foundation. And I could see this being used alone, like not patting it into my face, but just using a brush and lightly swiping it over my face if I want to control oil for the day. I do not put powder on my under eye because your under eye, you don't want to dry that part out. You're going to like just increase aging. So I wouldn't recommend putting powder on your under eye if you're doing this to um, keep your skin from getting oily and you're doing this to prep your skin for foundation. That's just me though. Ooh. It's really easy to spread this on my skin and to just like even it out. I know I look crazy right now, but yeah. Okay, so, oh man, I forgot to use my primer. I forgot to use my primer, but it's okay. I was going to put on the Neutrogena Shine Control Primer and I totally forgot, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna go on to my foundation. I'm gonna use this Kat Von D foundation in deep. 78 neutral and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand and this is really full coverage it's actually it claims to be water resistant I don't know about that but it's really good coverage and it's pretty long lasting and then I'm just gonna mix it with a little bit of this um, NYC smooth skin perfecting primer just to make the foundation less um, full coverage and more suitable for every day. I'm just gonna mix it up on the back of my hand, then I'm going to dab it on my face. So it's looking pretty good. I'll zoom in a little closer. Skin's looking pretty good, I'm content with it. So now I'm going to lightly contour and highlight my face. When I contour, I mainly focus on my forehead because I don't know, my forehead needs it the most. And then I'll do a little on my chin. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer and I just used this sample pot I got from somewhere and I mixed up Beautiful Bronze and Almond together. And that's what this is that I'm gonna use. I like to take my concealer and just like warm it up on my hand. I'm just gonna take a little bit of almond to enhance brightening. Now I'm gonna take my brush and was this Real Techniques contour brush. Okay, and now I'm gonna take a damp uh, makeup sponge and I'm gonna blend this in. This is just a random makeup sponge I got from Nordstrom Rack. 
it was very affordable it was about three dollars i believe and it works pretty good i like it i'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer up above my lip because my skin's a little darker there okay so now that i have my foundation on i'm going to use the powder to set my under eye this is really like a super smooth powder. Like when I pick it up and grind it together, it's like very silky. I think that's a better word. It's a very silky powder. I'm just gonna press my um, sponge in there and I'm going to press it into my skin. And when I put on powder on my under eye, I don't really like put a whole bunch on, wait, and then sweep the rest off. I just like to get whatever I pick up and just like, press it into my skin. Like I don't sweep anything away after I applied the powder. That's blending in really nice. I'm so happy I didn't get medium deep. I just feel like medium deep would have been pushing it. That is not, mm -mm. that medium deep is just too, too light. And I think the dark color is just my skin tone. So I think that color would have worked well for me too, but it wouldn't really be like anything um, that would highlight but it would match my skin tone. It would be a good powder to use all over my face, I feel like. Mm. It's blending in pretty nice. Okay, so now I'm going to set my contour. And this is Maybelline Fit Me. This is the old Fit Me in 360 Mocha. But I recently, last week I bought, this week actually, I went to Ulta and I bought 360 Mocha in the Maybelline Fit Me um, matte and poreless, I believe. And it was like three shades lighter than this. And that was the darkest shade. So they definitely like redid their formula, like a little lighter, which is a bummer. So now I have to find a new like contour powder um which is fine whatever but yeah they changed they made it lighter so you you you're not the if you buy 360 mocha it's not gonna be as dark as this is anymore for whatever reason they changed that i'm gonna use this eyeshadow brush it's an elizabeth mott blending brush i'm just gonna dip pop off the excess and shape up my nose i have all my powder on my face now what i do is i powder all over my face and i'm going to use this i'm just going to use this big um real techniques powder brush i'm going to swirl it in here tap off the excess i'm just going to like whoa okay tap it off a little more um, and then just dab it all over my face to set all of my face makeup. And you guys, that trick with like only exposing uh, a, like a few holes on the powder container, it is really amazing. Like it really prevents you from making a huge mess and wasting product. So definitely recommend that you try it. Now I'm going to spray my face with the matte finish setting spray long lasting setting spray i like to set my makeup before i do my eye makeup makeup's done um and i did take some photos but i think i'm gonna wait i'm gonna come back later on and i'm just gonna show you guys my photos and um the photos with the flash and i'm going to like evaluate how my skin is looking at the you know, after a couple of hours at the end of the day. So I'm going to see you guys in a little bit. Bye. All right. So it is about, it's almost 730 and I started this video around 230. So it's been like five hours. Um, and this is my skin at this moment after five hours of wearing this powder. And um, I have really, really oily skin and I did not blot this whole time just for the sake of seeing how well it would control my oil. And I mean, it did a good job. Like I'm content. My skin is going to get oily either way because I have super oily skin and on a, like an every day on a normal day, I would have blotted my face at least once or twice by now. Like I wouldn't go this long. 
um, and not blot my face. But for the sake of this video, I did not blot my face and it did a really good job. Um, so I think I'm just gonna blot my face now because I'm tired of being greasy. As far as oil control, I'm content with that. It did a really good job, five hours and that's how oily it was. Normal, it did a good job. It could be worse and it wasn't, so I'm content with that. I got this powder for $7.99 at Ulta and like I said earlier, I think I said earlier, I got the deep color and I'm glad I got the deep color because I mean, I couldn't imagine going to medium deep. That stuff is light. It's too light for my skin color. So I could even went further and got the darkest color that they have in dark. It's called dark and that color looked gorgeous and it would have went, it would do great with my skin, but I wanted something to sort of highlight the highlighting points of my face, like my under eye and forehead and whatnot. So um, the deep color is pretty good. I'm uh, glad I did not get the medium deep. I did do a flash test and I did a flash test when I first put the makeup on in dark light and then in light, in a, like in a dark room and then in the light room, I did the flash test. And then after I had been wearing the um, foundation for a couple of hours, I did the flash test in a dark room and a light room again. From what I can tell, there is no flashback with this product. Um, at first I was a little worried when I first put the makeup on just because when you have a like freshly powdered face you know you can look a little ghostly sometimes like a little like casket ready um, and it just didn't look that great but uh, there's no flashback from what I can tell so I'm that's good that's a great thing it really the photos really looked good when I didn't have flash I don't like flash photos period but you know you're gonna have them sometimes especially if you go out at night time so um it's important that there's no flashback and this product does not leave flashback which is a great thing so i think that's the number one concern when using these loose finishing powders especially for dark people brown people it's just so easy to get that that horrible gray look on your face so it doesn't leave that at all this product it really goes nicely into your skin like when you put it on like it's very when you feel it it is just so it's like very smooth and silky like when i rub it between my fingers which is really nice and i think that that's a sign that it melts well into the skin which it did so that's a plus i love the texture of the powder and i mean i think this is the best drugstore i mean for me i've used some other powders but i have not found a powder period a loose powder that works great for setting my face and doesn't leave a flashback and is fitting for my skin tone. So I'm really happy they came out with these. I'm super happy I tried it. And I would definitely buy it again, of course. And I think that's all. I liked it, it gives a thumbs up for me. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.